This is Guado Altasso, the 2017 Bulgari Superiore from Antinori. So this is their estate on the on the coast in Tuscany. All right, Bulgari is a, a really unique location. That's uh, influenced by the breezes from the Mediterranean. And with soils very similar to those in Bordeaux, lots of alluvial soils, gravel, clay. And so instead of your typical Italian grapes, Sangiovese, etc., the Bordeaux grapes just do beautifully here. And so many of these wines, like Guadalajara, are Bordeaux blends. This is a 65% Cab Sauve, 20% Cabernet Franc, and 15% Merlot, so it's really like a, a Medoc blend. And um, you just have this uh, wonderful combination of incredible sunshine, right? Beautiful sun-drenched vineyards and wonderfully nice uh, soils with good drainage, right? So those roots can reach really deep and they look for, their, for the water. And then those incredible, beautiful breezes and fog that rolls in from the Mediterranean, balancing all that sunshine, letting those grapes ripen slowly, take on all that nuance, retain all the good acidity. Um, and they, they create these beautiful, sort of world-class Bordeaux-style wines. This gets aged for about 17 months in 100% new French oak barrels. So it's like a classified growth Bordeaux, right? <laughs> Except with an Italian flair. Mm. Wow. Yeah, so black currants, blackberries, that nice uh, cigar box cedar graphite note, lead pencil. A little hint of a floral note in here too, like a violet note. Let's try it. kind of beautifully focused. <clears throat> and like there's an in intensity and a concentration that come through um, with those beautiful black currant and blackberry flavors, dark chocolate coming too. Sort of surrounded by the, uh, that sort of toasty cedar box oak notes and very, very nicely polished, supple tannins. You know, you get the sense that this really needs to unwind. Some time in the bottle, but, uh, but the flavors are so pure and bold. Um, tannins kicking up a bit on the finish, um, but <laughs> Delicious nonetheless. Um, you know, this one's always a winner, and it's always a wine that's just beautiful after it's been in your cellar for a few years. So, happy drinking. <laughs>